Hi everyone, my name is Bridge and I teach Ableton here at the Audio Guys Institute. And today we're going to talk about smarter ways of side chaining using Ableton's envelope follower. So let's get into it. So here we are figuring out smarter ways to side chain with Ableton. I have a bit of a dance project over here, and it's at 141 BPM, so it goes a little fast, and it goes like this. <laughs> So it sounds good, but it's not giving me that pumping feeling of being on a dance floor, and that only happens with side chain. Now, in regular circumstances, what everyone would do is add a side chain to their synth line, add a side chain to their bass, add a side chain to any other tonal things that are here. So that would involve adding three compressors to. each of these tracks and if there are more tonal layers you would add another compressor there and another compressor after that and you would require two compressors because you need one for your kick and one for your snare and the thing about adding so many compressors at once is that it's really hard to manage the side chain that's happening like if you want to quickly adjust the attack and release time of a side chain activity across the entire project how will you do that you have so many compressors going on so the way to fix this is by using something called envelope follower so envelope follower is a plugin that takes the audio signal's amplitude and turns that into an envelope that you can map to anything you want so to simplify my process what i'm going to do is start grouping my elements so i'm going to save all my drums as one group I'm going to save all my tonal layers as another group. So we've got four tonal layers and a bass layer over there. So what I'm going to do is add envelope follower to my kick and my snare. So what I can now do is group my kick and my snare into another one and add an envelope follower to this. Because what we're going to do is we're going to take this envelope and put it on our tonal group i'm going to show you how so when i play this right now there's no modulation that's going to happen it's just my envelope follower taking in the audio signal from my kick and snare and generating an envelope so when i play this it sounds like this and it looks most importantly like this Cool. So we have an envelope going on over there, and it's taking signals from both my kick and my snare since I've put it on the entire group. So now what's left is to map this to a parameter that will bring the volumes down whenever my kick and my snare play. So in order to do that, we need a plugin that has gain capabilities which means i need to open up a utility this utility is on my entire tonal and bass group and when i reduce the volume over here it's going to reduce the volume of the entire group so what i'm going to do now is make envelope follower move my gain knob on utility in order to do that all i have to do is go to my group hit the map button on my envelope follower and send it to my utility so as you can see this is on minus infinity and it's grayed out which means my envelope follower is now going to modulate the gain of my utility so it will now look like this so now we know that the utility knob is moving but this is actually going to do what the opposite of a side chain does because when my kick and snare are active my tonal layers are going to start playing why this happens is because our minimum value on the envelope follower is set to 0 and our maximum is set to 100 so at 0% my utility is going to be 0 and at 100% whenever i have a signal from my kick and snare it is going to rise up which we don't really want because it will sound like this we need the inverse of what's happening and also we need to increase the gain of our envelope follower a little bit let me explain so first what i'm going to do is invert these values so i'm going to set this to 50 and i'm going to set this to 
so my minimum value is at 50% now and my maximum value is at zero so every time there's a kick and snare audio signal coming in my signal is going to invert what's happening so my utility knob will be in the center when the volume is ducked and it will go down to minus infinity when my signal is on so the reason i've set this to 50% is because my utility goes up to 35 db and as you can see the center of this knob is at 0 db which is what we need so which is why i've set my envelope generator at 50% so now when i play this it sounds like this <music> it's doing the effect that we want now one last thing is left now our gain knob is not going as much as we wanted to go so in order to do that what we need to do is increase the gain amount on our envelope follower so that it takes in a little more of the audio signal that's coming in so let's see if a 6 db gain on the envelope follower works maybe a little more take this to 10 that's more like it now we have a pumping side chain effect on the entire track without the need of adding multiple compressors and using something as accurate as envelope follower to correctly duck the utility knob whenever a kick and snare is hitting so there you have it this is an easier way to side chain if you would like to adjust the side chain curve maybe add a little more of a pumping effect or what you can do is increase the fall amount so that it takes time to reach back up so there are a lot of variations that you can do with envelope follower you can go ahead and try it on to any kick snare combo and use it on some tonal layers and see how that works out for you that's it from my side thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time Thank <music> you.